Hey what's up guys my name is Avery and today I'm going to be showing you how to use basic git commands so the first thing we're going to do is get it installed to do that you just type in sudo apt git install git and now it's as simple as that now you have git so now the first thing you want to do is configure it so it has your username and email set up to it so to do that you just do git config and then you do global and then you do user dot name and then in quotes you type in your username and then the email is just as simple. You do do git config global, and then user dot email, and then you can type in my. And then you type in your email, and it's as simple as that. So now that we're gonna, I got that done, I'm going to show you three different ways to create a new Git repository. So the first way is very simple. So we're just going to move into our Git repository, make a directory called test and we're going to move into there and now we're going to initialize it with git to do that you just do git in it so now if you do ls-a you can see that it has the initialization for git and now it's a repository but say you don't want to host it yourself you can go on a github and you can get it hosted there so you can create it that way so you can click on github you click start project and just call this test and then we're just going to create the repository so now it's offering you a way to make it so it links to this one to do that, you'd follow th this right here. So the first thing you want to do is link it. So it's going to be git remote add origin, and then it will be the repository name on GitHub. It's as simple as that. So now let's create a new file. And well, this will be the readme file. <clears throat> and now we want to add it. So to add something, you do git add, and then you do the name of the file. And now once it's added, you want to have a commit, and then you can the commit will push everything that you have it'll link it all together so when you go to push it knows what to push and then you can leave a comment so it'll be uh, you can just say um, what you did <clears throat> and now you want to push it so I'll just do git push and now that we're pushing it into the first time in here um, you want to do u origin master so u origin master and then it'll have you sign in And once that's done, you can go ahead and check in here, reload the page, and bam, you have the file. So now let's say we want to add a new file in here. And now we're going to go and edit it. So edited file, and let's call this new file. And we'll go ahead and save this. So now we just created a new file in here, but as you can see, we don't have that in here. So how do we get that? You can do git pull. And that pulls the newest thing from the main branch. And now we'll check it. Boom, we have the new file. So now we can go ahead and I'll show you a new way to make it so you can create a new repository. So we're just going to back out of here and now we're going to make a new directory called test2. And now we're going to cd into that. So now we have a test2. So now I'll go in here, we'll create a new repository once again. Start project. And now in here we're going to follow the second example. So now this tells you, this is flat out making a new one, so you can go ahead and just copy these and copy line by line. And it's basically the same thing we did, but it does it all for you and has it all written out for you. And then I'll have you sign back in. And if you're going to load in here, you have it set up. It's as simple as that. So now I'm going to show you um, what to do if you want to um, go ahead and delete the last thing you did. So now we're going to move into the back into the other test directory. And now we're going to make it so we can delete this. So to do that, we're just going to have to do git reset. And then it's going to be a hard reset. And it will do head at then one. Now you want to do git push f, and then I'll have you sign back in. And then you want to do git reset hard, and then head once again. Um, and that undoes the last thing, but you can do that. So as you can see, it's gone now. And if you go in here, we'll be able to see that it's gone in here as well. 
No, it's just one file. Um, it's really as simple as that. Um, you just uh, do git in it and it'll create a new repository. Or you can do the git and then say you wanted to go back and say you wanted this repository. You can just copy this link and you can do git clone. Then you want to add a dot git to the end. And then it'll create that repository. As you can see, we already have it in there. So let me test 3. CD test 3. Now we'll go ahead and run this in here. And now we have the test repository in here. And as simple as that, that's how you copy a repository that's already updated. And that's basically just my short tutorial on a few commands on how to use Git. Thanks for guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.